kind of a, a message, a disclaimer video. That's that's basically what it is. But hey, Sophie, you don't be awake yet. Um, how should I put it? Um, so I should start with the story of why I'm making this video. So about a year and a half ago, I uh, I was still um, kind of going through some money troubles, and I haven't gotten really. Um, it was kind of a big problem at the time, uh, so, and, um, I was at Fort Knox when this was happening, um, this was before my wife was able to move in with me, I was having some money troubles, uh, guys, remember how I was gone for, like, a good long time, and I hadn't had internet for, when I was, when I was moving, um, for those of you who were there for that, um, During that time, there were, I had gotten a phone call during lunch. Um, it was a phone call. The people on the phone claimed that they were the IRS. And they called me saying that I had owed the government about $5,000. And I was getting really, really worried until they mentioned the simple fact that it had been owned for five years. Uh, here's where it doesn't make sense. I've only been working. I haven't been working that very long. I have only been working for four years at that time. Actually, it wasn't that. It was only been working for three years at the time. And I was still in high school five years before that event. And I soon realized this person isn't from the IRS because that what they just said was impossible I was still in high school I didn't even have a job then in fact I didn't even live in the state of Arizona five years before actually strike that I did but I didn't have a job then um, Then, I soon once I realized this, uh, and I told them, I told them, I don't believe this is true because I was never working five years ago. I was a minor at the time. I told them that, and he said, and they kept, and they were persistent about it. They were persistent about it. They were saying, and if you don't pay this, you're going to be, the government, they'll be sending authorities after you. And they repeatedly asked for my social and bank amount bank numbers so they can get the money that ain't happening that wasn't happening I, I hung up immediately and um, I realized that these people were scammers and uh, I was researching online because recently today I had a phone call saying something about the social security office saying that my my social had been how should I should it, how should I put it um, what's the word it was compromised which was impossible because I never gave that to anybody and there's no way I could put it on I never put it online unless it was my banks I have a few bank accounts and I have a car and I have a car insurance. That, those are the only things that like, like you know, like those are like things you know that require your social security number, you know. And those are the only things I have those on. Those are the only places I ever use those. I never use them anywhere else. I never do that online. So it was kind of near impossible for a hacker to figure that out. I keep that number close and tight. The only other people who have access to my social security number is my wife. My dad, and I trust him, and the army. So this made no sense to me. But then they started asking for my social security number to confirm my identity. Now, normally, a social security office would ask for your birthday, normally, to confirm, you know, like, this is your name, name and um, 
where they would ask for some kind of identification number or other than your social security for food this because they want to avoid like scammers or people who are trying to steal your identity now I looked online and I found out there are other people like this going through social security and IRS story simple like people from the oh uh, boss is online playing Clancy Tom Clancy is with a six age uh, side right side note but for example this guy from the IRS had gotten a call saying that he had owed money to the IRS and he says no I am an IRS agent and they immediately hung up these people are trying to get your information because you know online getting this information online is expensive so they're using phone line scamming and it's not right I was supposed to do this with my wife today and but she's asleep and you know it's late but here's but I want to I'm saying this now because I'm directing a message people do not let these people get to you do not give your information unless asked see when this person tried to call me and they told me hey you have the option to have somebody come to your house but they didn't bother to ask my address because social security doesn't know where I live yet and here's the I just want you guys to be safe because there are people who are giving these phone call scams and it's not right and it bugs me that there are people out here doing this to people stealing people trying to steal people's identities and, f and committing fraud because people like me that terrifies me because I have a lot more to lose than most than than the average person the Terrifies me. I have a daughter. She's sitting right there, taking a nap. I have a wife upstairs. She's taking a nap. I know I'm not pointing at the teddy bear. Um, There are people who are opposing as high governments, such as the IRS, who do your taxes, who, which are the people who do your ta who deal with taxes. There are people opposing as your social security, which involves your social security number, you know, your um, your uh, nine-digit social security number, the one that little green card that says social security. For my fans who are too young to understand, uh, to uh, or strike that. For my fans who are too young and their parents will let them have their social security card, or um, or those of you who are adults watching this, who uh, who take this very seriously, K kids who are watching this, remember this: that your social security number is your biggest I piece of I one of your biggest pieces of identity, along with your birth certificate and your state's ID and all that stuff. All those things are very sensitive items, and you can't let people know this information unless you know for sure that this is going to be safe. For example, safe places, a DMV, you know, the driver's license guys, you know. a courthouse, for example, you would need that for a courthouse. The actual social security office, the IR, your, when you do your taxes, these are info, this is information you need. If you're joining the army, or any military service, you need that stuff. When you're applying for a bank account, this is information you need. These are safe places. Never reveal this unless you're call unless you made the call unless you make the call to your like to uh, one of these particular places. Do not give these things over the phone, no matter what. Me, I have to keep charge of three, three social security numbers. Mine, my wife's, and my daughter's. I have to manage all three of these. I have to make sure these are protected and safe. 
And you know what bugs me? People who try to scam people like this. People who have families. They sicken me. You are br ruining lives. People like this are trying to ruin lives. And it's... This is not acceptable. I don't think I've ever made a warning video like this before. But guys, I'm telling you to be cautious of these phone calls. Because these people are getting more, more, more getting cleverer and cleverer. Because now they're having machines that call you and trying to get you to say the words, yes. Because with, if you say yes when you immediately answer the phone, just don't even, don't even say that. Don't say yes. Try not to say yes when you answer a phone. Because they can use that for a, a, for a verbal confirmation of whatever. That could be your that could be your vocal signature, and no, and you couldn't do anything about it because you didn't know. It's scammers like these that just piss me off, and you get them every day. People get these every day on their cell phones. I get them about fucking ten times a day. Calling from states I've never been to, from places I've never been. And from numbers I've never even heard of, and most of the, and sometimes there have been places I've been. And today it just ticked me off because I'm tired of being of trying of people trying to scam me. I'm tired of people. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of people tr trying to scam others. I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys, please guys, for my, be cautious, for me, for your families, for your loved ones, be safe, keep your information safe, that's all I have for you guys, I hope you guys have a good time out there.